Good morning, DMS. Good morning, DMS. Good morning, DMS. Good, Good morning, morning, DMS. DMS. Hey, Matthew, did you watch any school sports this year? Of course. I have so much team spirit. Go Blue Jays! Well, who do you think were some key players from the teams? I don't know. There's so many great athletes to choose from. I agree. Why don't we go to Alyssa to find out who some of the athletes of the year are? Have you ever noticed those pictures hanging along the cafeteria walls? Well, those are a whole bunch of pictures of student and athletes for the week of the year. Here are some of the players of the year. What is your name? My name's Ariana Haley. What was it like being awarded Player of the Year? It was really cool, and I didn't really think that I was going to get it just because everybody else had already gotten one, so I thought maybe they had skipped over me or something. What sport were you rewarded this in? I was rewarded it in girls basketball. Why do you think that you were rewarded Player of the Year? I would like to think I was rewarded Player of the Year because I usually try and always have a good attitude and give 100% of my effort. What did you get rewarded with? We got this certificate that said Player of the Year and it said like your name and what sport and it had a signature, it was really cool. How did they give it to you? Mr. Willis called us down to his office and we went there and he presented us with the award but I had figured out that I won just a couple minutes before because my friend Allie saw on Twitter that I had won and so she was like, oh my gosh, Ariana, you won! And so we were freaking out about that and then when he called me down, it was really exciting, but... Okay, thank you. Thank you. What's your name? Uh, Jack Horn. What was it like being awarded Best of the Year? Uh, it was a pretty cool opportunity and a nice privilege uh, to share it, especially with Logan Leonard. Why do you think you were rewarded as wrestler of the year? Uh, because I went undefeated and uh, I beat everybody on our team. There was pretty good people on our team though this year, and it was uh, hard matches all the way around this year. Did you expect to be wrestler of the year? Uh, towards the end, I was hoping so, but uh, nothing's really guaranteed until the voting day. So I was hoping so the whole year. Okay, thank you. What is your name? Bailey. What was it like being awarded Player of the Year? It was a pretty neat experience. What sport did you get awarded in? Volleyball. Why do you think that you were rewarded Player of the Year? I think I was rewarded Player of the Year because I worked hard during practices and I helped encourage other people on the team. Did you expect for you to be Player of the Year? No, I didn't expect to receive Player of the Year. Alright, thank you. Thanks. Have a great weekend, DMS. I'm thinking about joining a club. What's a good club to join? Have you checked out GLOW? No, what's that about? What's well, GLOW? I mean, go to Ariana Haley and find out more. <laughs> hey guys, it's Ariana Haley, and I'm here to let you know a little bit more about a club here at DMS called GLOW. GLOW is an after-school club where students of all grades come, eat snacks, play games, and talk about their spiritual journey. This club was previously known as Fellowship of Christian Athletes, FCA, but we are now referred to as GLOW because we're open to anyone, not just athletes, not just Christians. Here, we have a couple of members to let you know what happens during GLOW. What's your name? Oh, um, I'm Angel. What does GLOW stand for? GLOW stands for God Lights Our World. Okay, what does GLOW mean to you? GLOW means like, a place where you could go like after school and can um, go with other people who are either Christians or Catholics or just like whoever believes and you can like talk about it with them and see what their views are with it. What would you say to somebody that's thinking about joining GLOW? Uh, I say you should do it because it's really fun. We have snacks, games, and it's really fun. I think you... If you're having doubts, you should definitely just come and try it out. I mean, it's not like you have to sign up for anything. It's long term. You can just come and have fun. Thank you. <laughs> what is your name? Joni New or Miss New to you. All right. How long have you been a leader of GLOW or FCA? Oh, I, 
I think maybe a leader three to four years, and before that, when we were a junior high, I helped, and not at, really as a leader, but I just enjoyed going. Along with you, are there any other teachers that sponsor GLOW? Brian Van Heuwen, Mr. Van Heuwen, yeah. When does GLOW meet, and when are maybe some next upcoming meetings? GLOW meets on Thursdays after school, and um, our next meeting, we just had one yesterday, as you know, so we will meet again March 9th, and and then, of course, March 23rd. It's every other Thursday. All right. Where does GLOW meet? Right here in the birdcage. What would you say to somebody that is thinking about joining GLOW? I'd say jump right in and try us out. It starts right after school, and we go till 3.30. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Now that you know about GLOW, I hope to see all of you there at the next meeting. This has been Ariana Haley Straws signing off for DMS Broadcasting. What are you doing? I'm trying to check the weather, but my internet won't load. Well, why don't you just ask Grant? He knows all about the weather for the week. Good morning, DMS. Hope you all are having a fantastic start to your Friday morning. And temperatures outside towards the end of the day are going to be absolutely great outside. We're going to have highs at around right around 60 degrees and mostly sunny skies. But that warming trend isn't going to continue, really going to continue for much longer. Overnight, the lows are going to drop right at freezing point, right at 32. And the highs, highs tomorrow only going to raise itself up to 51. We can, it'll probably be a very chilly night out for Sporting KC, who are playing playing their home opener against FC Dallas over at Children's Mercy Park. So if you're going over to K, KCK for, for that match, I definitely suggest you'd warm them up. And, and right before you go to bed, bed, don't forget to make sure that your clocks have been set ahead to an hour because daylight savings time is beginning right at 2 a.m. tomorrow on Sunday. In terms of weather, we're going to have pre predominantly the same conditions throughout the week. And on Friday, if you're headed out downtown town for the St. Patrick's Day Parade, we're going to expect highs to be around, temperatures there to be around the lower 50s to upper 40s. So I would say... In my best judge, your best judgment. Bring on coat, just, just in case. Hey Bailey, have you ever been a part of a National History Day before? No, but I know some kids from this school who are going this year. Nice. Let's see how some kids are preparing for National History Day this year. So I'm here with Mrs. Sparks, the gifted ELA teacher. So could you tell me a little bit about like what is National History Day? Um, National History Day is a competition, obviously, throughout the nation, um, and there's a regional contest, and then students who move on to the state level then compete on the campus of Missouri, and then if they move on to nationals, they actually compete in Washington, D.C. Um, each year, there's a new theme that students can select topics through, and there are five different categories they can compete in. And what's your favorite thing about National History Day? Um, just seeing students really dive deep into a topic and get excited about what they've created. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Have you ever made it past regionals or known someone who has? Yes, me and my partner last year actually made it to state and we wow. got fourth and then top two go to nationals and the third is an alternate. So we got fourth and so we were really close to moving on to nationals. We didn't quite get there. Oh, um, and what was your topic this year? This year my topic is Jane Goodall and her stand for chimpanzee rights. And what's your favorite thing about National History Day? My favorite thing about National History Day is probably that you get to choose what you want to do so you can find something that interests you and then you get to go deep into that project and you can display it however you choose. Okay, thank you. So, can you tell me a little bit about like what NHD is and what's the theme this year? NHD is National History Day, and that is where children from all over the world actually, we compete, we create projects about a certain time in history or a certain idea in history, and we make a project about it and we go to competition for it. There's regional, state, and then there's nationals in Washington, D.C. This year the theme is taking a stand in history, so a lot of our projects kind of pertain to that. And what was your topic this year? 
My topic was the White Rose. It's about students in Munich who took a stand by passively resisting Hitler. Okay, cool. Thank you. So, what was your topic this year? The occupation of Alcatraz. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Uh, it's when the Native Americans protested on Alcatraz Island. Okay. And what's your favorite thing about National History Day? I like working with the kids in my class and really like working with my teacher. We all get to do different ways of performing or like introducing our topics, so it's all really interesting. Okay, cool. Thank you. National History Day is on March 4th. We wish all the gifted ELA students good luck. You know there are some really neat things students do outside of school? Like what? Well, Logan has a really nice fish tank. Let's see if Lucas can tell us more about it. There's so many interesting kids at DMS. Let's go talk to Logan about his fish. How many fish do you have? I have two fish. Can you name a couple species of fish? Um, well, the fish I have in Austin is clownfish. He's a designer's clownfish. He has special markers like you can see on Nemo. Um, I have um, a yellow watchman goby. They stay about three inches long. They'll bury themselves in the sand and they'll help eat any extra food on the ground. Do you name your fish? Well, my mom made me name my fish uh, because they're really expensive. So, uh, yes, the clownfish's name is Ice and the watchman goby's name is. Diggy, my sister named that one, it's her fish. When did you start your fish tank? Well, I started my fish tank right after Christmas time. It's a good, I couldn't get any fish until about a month, a month after because there's a nitrogen cycle I have to go through. But I've had aquariums all my life. I've had aquariums all my life. They're really cool and fun to watch. Um, they're Freshwater aquariums are more of the easier ones to take care of, it's just like almost an effortless pet, but saltwater aquarium is something more challenging than I like to do. How long did it take to get your fish? Well, again, I had to wait the month um, for the nitrogen cycle to um, go through, which is ammonia nitrate and nitrate, all that's toxic to fish. I had to wait for that to die down. Um, and then I had to wait about one fish per week, which is, I'm on the second week. I'll be getting a fish next week. I'll show you guys the fish I'll be getting. Um, so it, it's really like, it take a long time to do it, so the tank establishes the, like, what time it is in the tank. Have a good week in DMS. on your fish. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, if only I could keep fish alive like that. Well, I'm sad to say it, but this is the end of the broadcast. Have, Have a, a fantastic, fantastic weekend, weekend, DMS. DMS.